Hey there, guys. So it's me again, back at this mystery, trying to create a better trench. I actually don't talk like that, but you, you get the point, right? Right? Hopefully. Good. Okay, um... This time with the auto landscape material, I left tessellation on since, uh, well, since I can, I guess, I'm hoping that we could use it to create a better mud material. As you can see, currently I built a new wall for the mesh, uh, for the trenches, and another one, according to a reference I found, that had cement bricks somehow it was one of those fancy ones and there's mud here on top and there's mud down on the side uh, didn't spend a lot of time on it but it works nonetheless so we're going to be adjusting this and first to adjust it what I'm going to need to do is find a mud texture that is seamless Uh, yeah, too low resolution. Too high resolution. I could technically make this work, but I don't want to. I don't know. It's hard to find any good mud textures these days. Uh, let's go with... Oh, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to click this one. We're going to use it. Unless we can make this one work, can we? Mm. Wait, what about this one? Whoever told this person that this was concrete lied. It does not look like concrete. Nope. Um... Um, I can turn this, I can turn this into something. So we're going to put this in here as landscape textures open safe. Yay. And we're going to go to bitmap to material because we have to, you know, make it work right or else we're not really doing our job we're gonna bump this back up to 2k and for this we're gonna go to uh, global and set to slope based Or not. Let's mix it. That mix looks a little bit better. Alright. I'm going to need to invert this. Not like that. Let's try this.
Okay, put that back up. Trying to make this work is going to be complicated. And let's export. Not lost with textures. You didn't see anything. Shh, it doesn't exist. We're going to call this mud. Hopefully that gets us our height map that I want. I'm going to close that out, minimize that, and we're going to go in here and create a new one called Landscape. And we're going to import those new textures. Did I export that not as TGA? I did. Okay, so we're good. We got an ambient. We got we got a height. We're good. Okay. So we're gonna replace the pebbles. With that, we're gonna put down the height map. And we're going to put down the normals. Oh man, the tessellation is not working. That's the slope roughness. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's try this instead. Base color one. Second one's the displacement. Good. Then we got to normal. Then we got this going on. Okay. So now we just need to paint. So we're painting layer one. But oh, we're painting side. Sorry about this. This is just side. Where's side? Right here. Side. Side info. Ugh. Oh, it's working. Now we just need to deal with, um, uh, how do we call this here? Uh, the scale. And then we need to bring this down to 15, maybe up to 25. Uh, 25. Click that. I want to change the roughness. We're going to change that to 
0 0.2. Oh god, what did I click? Crap, so... 0 0.2 didn't do anything, so let's put that at 0. That's at 0. Specular at 5. do we need to do? I'm going to put this at 800. Should have walked on this. That actually looks pretty good. We do still have tessellation on it as well. to start painting not that kind of painting cool part about this is watch <laughs> I like that this up real quick. There we have a muddy battlefield. And let's go adjust the terrain a bit. going to work all this flatness in here. Okay. So we're good on that end. Sorry about this. I'm just trying to concentrate. And we're going to take these guys. Moving forward. The hell?
Just gotta grab all of this stuff. There we go. Bring this one down. And... Let's just bring that one down. And this one. Bring that up. Bring that down. That up. That down. And uh, that up. Okay, so now it looks like we have a wall. Okay, we got lightning this time, by the way. I can't tell. Like that. Okay. So we're in trenches. That is actually the right height, by the way, because I did measure according to the guy's bodies. And so were these. Because you're not supposed to actually see up over these ones. These ones are supposed to just watch your back. They're there to keep the mud away. So we have this. Walk along here. Shoot some guys. Now the reason why I, I had to leave the other map behind is because it accidentally became corrupt. So I figured end up doing something a little different and the only thing I don't like is that this dude is walking through the tessellation that makes me a little mad anyway I have to go fix that crack real quick uh, that those things are having the tessellations occurring from so we're gonna click click crack free displacement it's going to have to render everything all over again, which is only going to take about a minute or less. Just exit out of there. So, that's what we've chosen to do, by the way. This is, uh, this is huge. Like, it's ridiculous. We're building in this small area because it keeps my brain confined. And it allows me to think. We're also going to get rid of this one. Bring it down. I'm going to bring that up. Do that by the 90. I'm going to drag that here. And here. Okay, so now we have. Oh, well, it's supposed to be better, but I guess not. Now we can get out of this trench at least. Come up here. He says to rush. You have to go rush. Just like if we grab this one, this one, this one, and this one. Go forward. We need to bring it up. Just to protect a little bit, or if we wanted to make a secondary trench, we could do that without a problem. I just bring in this part down here. So just imagine if we did this. Come up 
here, right? And it's, uh, they're perfect for that reason. Because technically, they snap together. So you're not stuck having two of these. You just delete one and continue onward. So we wanted to just end this part. We just bring it forward like that. I like this one a lot better than the old one that I built. Um, just like if we wanted to put some steps here, we could easily do that by taking this one and this one and we control D that shit sorry swearing uh, and what we do is take this bring it up to there like that and we just export it so export the selected we're going to call this wooden underscore steps. And we'd bring it in Substance Painter because God knows I'm going to make it some shit real quick, I guess. There's our wooden steps. We take this one, pop it on there, and we take the old planks. Pop it like that. Uh, give this a good scale of two. Or better yet, one. Because that way it looks like it has a lot of stuff going on, right? Go to basics. Increase that height range, right? Keep that centered, normal intensity. Now without it, it's going to look like that, right? But that just looks boring. So we do that to add a little bit more grit. And then we go to layer one. And we have a mud texture in here now. Right there. And... Uh, Keep height on, select dirt one, give it some good size. Add some AO. Oh, and we do not want the wrap on. We're just going to hit UVs instead. Just going to muddy it all up, right? And uh, we could also go and bake the materials on select ID. Uh, thickness, AO, and normal. And we could set this to 2K and bake. Anyway, that's what we got. We're going to export the textures. UE4 packed. Targa. We're going to go to here, here, wooden, select folder. We want to get 2K out of it and export. So there's our maps. Now we go into our trench right here, import the new model. Where did I save it at?
Oh, I did save it here. Good. Import all. Give me a second. Where's this damn thing at? We're going to export again because that shit's redonkulous. And... Complete 180. Bring that in there. See? Drive it over just a smidge. We're just gonna copy it in. Copy it in. Um. There. So now, when we go to import, just so we don't make anything messy, we're going to call that wooden. We can import this here. Don't. There we go. So we're going to use this. So the red is going to be uh, the specular. The green is going to be the roughness. That's going to be the AO. I think we should be good. That actually worked. So now, you go all the way down here and we got this, right? Another little thing to sit on, stand on, whatever really like works. We're going to just bring that down. And since it's buried in mud, we're not really going to need it much. And I don't want to on bury it, right? Because I just want to be consistent. So there. We add that in. We don't really need to do much about this hole. I mean, technically, we could just do this. A um, little bit of sculpting to a 50. Bring it up. And there we go. Now, like that. So now we have stools. People can sit places if they need to. Love that lighting. Finally got global rain to work too. This is only a single sprite, which is great. So now we hit play. If we wanted to, we can just go up here and sit. Go up here. You know, do whatever we needed to do. Alright guys, I'm going to stop the video right there.
What? Landscape to movable? That's weird. Can we even do that? I don't know. Alright guys, I'm off. Um, if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and well hit that like button because that definitely does help, believe it or not. And I will do some more videos tomorrow. Because the more I play Battlefield 1, the more I want to build the crap. So, see ya.